You guys ever get one of those headaches where it's like right behind your eyeball and you can like feel it throbbing? That's what I'm having right now. Like right, right in this eye, right here. This entire area. <sighs> Fucking hell. Welcome back to Summer React. Today, we're having a first listen to Billie Eilish. Um, I never heard of her music. Never heard of her. I kept asking people if her music is good and stuff like that. People have been saying it's the best thing ever. Other people have also said that she's just another wannabe anti-pop thing. I don't know. I never heard of her. So, it's her debut album. We're in when we all fall asleep, where do we go? It's 14 tracks. Um, I'm gonna just get right into it. I don't know. I don't know, track one is- so I'm guessing she was very excited and actually literally made out a track. Bad guy. I can definitely hear this in like commercials for like an iPhone or some shit. I can definitely hear this shit. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, I can definitely hear this in like commercials or some shit for like either a car, a new iPhone, or like a Samsung Galaxy. It's not a bad thing either. Fucking murder me with beat switches now, bro. God damn. Zanny. I like her vocals a lot. It's very soothing to the ear. Mm. Fucking bass, bro. Jesus Christ. Reminds me of like some uh, 1950s ballad shit, bro. Yep. Definitely some 1950s, 1960s shit, man. You should see me in a crown. Mm. You should see me in a crown. Oh, I heard it. This is the one where she has a fucking spider in her mouth, which God knows how the fuck she actually did that shit. How she actually put a whole live spider in her mouth. When it could possibly crawl down her throat. Spiders! 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 Get out of me! Get out of me! And burn it. Burn it all. Burn it all. Burn it all. Burn it all. I seen a clip of this music video through an ad on YouTube. And I, as soon as I seen this shit, a fucking spider come out of the girl's mouth, I'm like, yeah, fuck this. Skip. Fuck that. Nope. It's not a bad track at all. It's very different. Very, very different. She has her own her own style. I fuck with it a lot. All the good girls go to hell. I like her fucking voice so much, bro. No, for uh, to this sounds like some like vampire shit. This is something to show your feet to. This is this is definitely something you just. Wish you were gay. This shit needs to go to fuck away. This has like some 2012 shit right here. Yo, she's very fucking talented, bro. Uh, he pump fake this. He's gonna go ahead and pump fake us like that. 
What the fuck? Making us think the song is over just for you to fuck it. That's <laughs> like, and then go right back into the belly. When the party's over. Times 316. Give me beers 316. Austin 316 said this song's fucking good. And that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold said so. It gave me hell yeah. Her voice is fucking stunning, dude. Really. Where the fuck have I been, dude? This is fucking stunning. This is beautiful. That's possibly my favorite off the album. That was fucking beautiful. That was beautiful, dude. Eight. Is that her a little kid? That has to be an effect on her voice. My strange addiction. That show is fucking nuts, dude. Jesus Christ, some people need fucking help. Alright, I'm sorry. This is a girl right here. But again, she's very fucking talented. Bury a friend. Yo, this has Kanye West Jesus written all over it. Tell me not. Tell me not. Tell me not. Kanye West Jesus. Again, Kanye West, most influential motherfucker alive right now. Back to the song. This is fucking terrifying. It's, this song right here fits the album cover so well. Like, the talent, bro, the potential I see in this girl. It's there. And it's big. Ilo Milo. Like, it's dark as hell, but it's like playfully dark. If that makes any sense. Where the fuck have I been, bro? Call me Patrick Star, because I've been under a fucking boulder, bro. Listen before I go. Man, this is beautiful music, dude. This is beautiful fucking music. I love you. I love you. Don't give up. We're here on this earth for a reason. I love you. And that's also the track name. I guarantee that shit. I just got goosebumps. Hey man, listen, I kind of want to just like just slap myself in the face right now because of the fact that I never listened to this girl's music before. I am kind of upset with myself because this is fucking talent. Talent. With a strong ass T at the end. Talent. T A L E N capital T. <laughs> the backing vocals too, bro. Yeah, she is definitely gonna have people crying to this shit, bro. Like, real shit. The, the instrumental, the, this is my favorite track of the album. Dude. The soul. The power. The fucking power, bro. This shit is powerful. And that was fucking... Wow. 
goodbye. What she did there, the last three tracks, before I go, I love you, goodbye. Okay, let's see what she did there. All right, all right, listen, we, we, you know, Peter Parker's death is still fresh in my mind. I'm pretty sure it's fresh in everybody else's mind, bro. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. And now Billy Ellis, damn you, Thanos. Wow. I'm ashamed in myself for not fucking checking this girl out before, dude, because the talent, the potential, it's there, like for God's sake, what is wrong with me for not listening to this girl? And that was when we fall asleep, where do we go? By Billy Eilish, Eilash, Eilash, whatever the fuck her name last name is. Tell me how to pronounce her name in the comments, please, because I don't want to disrespect the girl. So I'm not gonna get too into it because I mean my time's like running up obviously. I imagine these songs as like different types of like demons because she's in the bed she's like looking fucking demonic as hell on the bed and always something like that I feel like it's either lucid dreams or like different demons like sleep paralysis that's all I can really say in like each track it's like a different demon or like a different type of dream and throughout the album she's like passing through it and the last three tracks, I'm guessing it's like the memories and shit flooding her mind, stuff like that. And when it says goodbye, it's her waking up. That's that's just my that's my theory. If you never listened to Billy Ellis before, please don't make the same fucking mistake I made and wait until you listen to her, because she's fucking talented. So I'm gonna react, Billy Ellis, when we all fall asleep, where do we go? Good night and good night. Goodbye and good night. Fuck's sake. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed.